G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with the Captain. No, I'm not out in the water, I'm out here in my garage. Just getting to find a few things done for a bit of a send I'm doing. Got some rods that I'm rigging now and just uh, tweaking a few little odds and ends in uh, a couple of lures. Uh, just upgrading hooks and rings and tidying a few last, last few bits and pieces. Um, gonna be throwing the swag in, doing a few days. Um, getting the hell out of here, um, but Something I just want to touch on is uh, something I've received messages about is uh, pulling um, not too long ago, if you would have seen in my social media, I posted about a fish I pulled out of a marina. Now I do have that footage, I found that footage and some of you really want to see it. Um, funny story the way it happened, but I'll let the clip roll um, just so you guys can see it. The clean water, the quality of the fish um, in amongst all the houseboats and it shows you, you don't have to go too far to find some quality fish from your local parks or boat ramps. So nonetheless, guys, I'll roll that clip for you and the next time you'll see me, I'll be out in the water. So we'll go giving it a bit of a send. So, all right, guys, I'll leave it to you and <laughs> I'll see you soon. You had me in a rope over underneath that one there. There it is. My dad's not gonna believe me, he's back in his car now. Thomas, stop around. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to look at him and I can't, just can't lift him up. I can't believe that, that's unreal. Second cast. Sure the fish at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. It's got a jet ski. Can you see that? Nah, no. not from here. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Look at that. Man. Just tap the screen. Oh, see? There you it's go. <laughs> get that. Get you in as well. Just watch him pop up and you'll just there he is. He's gonna come up now. Watch him in the in the sunlight. Ready? Oh he might be just I want you to get him in the netting. Oh. <laughs> hey, hand. I'll sit him there for a second. You got it? Yeah, just step on the handle. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got it. Just nothing else here. You won't get away. Oh, I'm ready. I'll see you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the back of the house, but after this trip, got the boat moored. Put the scope on while the car's running. The car's in the water. I thought I'll have a look. Scope underneath. <laughs> First cast. We'll get him out for a look. Have a look at him. There we go. Oh, yeah, in here, you might not. He's just real chunky. Have a look at that. He's healthy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's a good paddy. Oh, just fell out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the blue one just fell out. <laughs> There's a rain here. What's that? Put me on the Perfect. No, yeah, it's a There you go. Yeah. Chunk of a fish. Pan down the fish. Oh, look. There's a condition on him. In the harbor. Insane. I don't know why we travel all these distances and we ended up just uh, getting one right there. That's good to get. Uh, hope everyone is doing well. Boat in the water, I've got the boat loaded up to the brim. Swag, esky, uh, got bits and pieces here with me, but I'm not doing the normal morning send. It's actually three just before four uh, in the Arvo. Uh, Got a fish this Arvo tonight, uh, tomorrow, and uh, I don't know, see what happens. Maybe stay another night. But the, regardless of what happens, uh, camera's gonna be rolling the whole time. Um, could be good, could be shit. Don't know. Gonna check some trout. Gonna see if we can go after uh, Yallas. Uh, ultimate goal be chasing a nice big cod. 
going to be fishing some new water as well. Uh, I'm going to be rolling the swag up somewhere. Don't know yet. I'm just going to fish. I'm going to get tired, cold, whatever. I don't need to have a feed. A bit later on, so be it. I'll get the swag out and set up camp. But one thing is, sure, I will be meeting up with a good mate of mine, Jesse. Uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a gun, literally. You that might have seen uh, my latest last episode, which was, to be honest, well overdue, over a month ago. So it's pretty, pretty shit in my heart. But Jesse was out there with me, and we pinned those two nice fish, um, those two big meter fish. Um, he was there with me. Bit of sound quality issues on that one. I hope this one doesn't have that sort of shit happening, because, well, to be honest, it's no fun. But I'm gonna get going. Lights running down. I'm going to make a bit of a run. Then I'm going to get some lures out. Try to catch some dinner. Hopefully before dark. Sun's starting to dip already. So, all right. Let's do it. All right. So we've got made a bit of a run. Now I'm going to pull out some toys. What have I got here? We've got a little spin, spin rod. We've got about two. We've got one. Oh. And two. Alright. Back. Might try with the outboard. I'll just give it a crack and see. Because I've actually got this rev controller. <coughs> I want to test it out because I've actually never used it. Oh, a bit of whiskey throttle. Alright, now, put her in gear and drop the revs down. Get down, 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 down. That's lowest. But I think I might be still going too quick. Yeah, too quick. I'm going to have to do the electric job. <sighs> this is definitely an electric job. Alright, here we go. Electric deployed. Not yet. Hey, jump off, dickhead. What speed we got on? Five. All right. <coughs> so I got that. Now because I've got it hooked up to Nema, the Nema cable. What I can do is just hit that. It should bring out a menu. Here we go. Now I can hit course lock and speed up. Are we moving? Yes, we are. They're both starting to swing. I don't want to go left. That's the beauty of NEMA. People ask why NEMA cable, why do I have to link things up? My electric is being run through my HGS live unit. How good is that? So, literally now all I can do, or need to do, with Tazzy's in particular, you just want your rod to have a little bit of a pulse. Doesn't need to be something erratic. So what I'm gonna do is, rods out there, not getting that pulse yet, so I want to bump it up. We're at 20 30 percent. Turn that outboard off. Beautiful. And now I hope the rod tip can pick, pick up the rod. Beautiful little pulse. We're on. So now we are officially fishing. Turn a bit to the left, a bit to the right. I just want to hug, I want to get a little bit closer to that tree line over there. I know a lot of bit of a lot of bait hangs around there, and um, the trout love it too. 
used to actually come to Yildon exclusively just for trout, so it helps having a few old school trolling runs. So at the moment, my setup, I'm running, just got a pink tazzy line through. Running, I've got a probably three foot to a um, paravane sinker. What this does, see the fins on it, helps it plane down through the depths and holds your lure a bit deeper. Instead of it being traditionally like two meters down, it'll take it down and swim it down like that four meters, depending on how long line that you let out. And then just running up to my um, to my rod. But there's that, then a leader, and into that. So what, with that, I'm not gonna cast it out. I'm just gonna let it out. If you look at the coloured braid, I'll probably be, and at 10 metres it changes, so I'll probably just let it out three, three colours, two, three colours, so down it goes. If I just cast it, it'll probably just become an absolute shit show of a mess. <sighs> How good is this? Sky is lighting it up an absolute show, but I must say, as soon as the sun's dipping down, it is getting cold. No trout. Did hook a nice cod off the scope. Just as I was trolling along, put the scope in the water just to see what the trees were like. Found some, found some what looked like yellow belly, except there was a monster mark below it. Dropped a big uh, mega bass freestyle plastic just on a jig head. Fed it down on a slow roll, ate it, wrapped me around the tree, and that was the end of that. <laughs> but I uh, will. Gonna uh, finish this run and watch this sunset before we shoot off and find campground. Looks good. <sighs> Surely there's a late afternoon bite, but I'm gonna get the drone up and give you guys a look. Check this out. That's gonna wrap up our trout troll sesh slash cruise. Do um, now before it gets too dark. Good morning. Uh, no, no love on the trout front last night, but uh, it got real cold real quick and. Threw in the fire, went out for a quick scope in the dark, and we actually pulled a really nice trout and uh, a yellow. A um, couple of bait rods out, got a couple of carp as well, but oh, out of our first light, giving it a go. Get Jesse with me. We're gonna give it a scope on a couple of these banks we've caught fish before. See what happens, and then uh, I don't know. See how the day brings. But I'm just spend a bit of time on here on prime time, and then uh, go do something else. We'll see how we go. Open, open up, we're real open for whatever happens today, so get some fish. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, eat it, eat it. That's a trout. Yep, got it. Oh, fuck, he belted it. Come on, he's still there. He's still on it. He's on it. Oh, come on, you dog. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, it's a trout. Dude, he whacked it, yeah. like, fucking smoked it. Good trout. Oh, fucking yeah, he snapped it. It's only a light gauge, fucking little hook. Where'd he go? That's why he was fucking... He broke the next thing. He's on this morning. Poor fish. He's like, let's get it, dude. Some crawfish. Ten metres out. That's gotta be another trout. Oh! That was a Did you see fish. that? He followed me in. He was another good brand. Yeah. 
that was pan up to pan up. <laughs> Just out of nowhere and then he buzzed your swim bait. You just drift this flat and just bomb lures. I'll just scope him. It's easier. Oh, that, that's probably him there, about a metre or two off the bottom. Yeah. Oh, no. Straight out there, 9 o'clock, 10 metres. He's coming up, the little yeah. Oh, fuck, he hit that. Yep, got him. <laughs> oh, fell off. Oh, he came back. We'll see this fish. Surely. Fucking hell, I need to put that stinger back on. <laughs> Hit that like two, three times. If he starts swimming up, it's a, yeah, it's a yellow. Oh, that's, that's a yellow, man. See how he's fucking off either? He's doing exactly what happened yesterday. Let's get on top of him and see, so he's literally stagnant. Yeah. To the left. Yeah, it's a yellow. <coughs> I'm a bit they're slow moving fish, aren't they? Like they're not fucking yeah, super that, that, active. Yeah, they don't like to move That's too much. Shot. Oh, he's coming he's up to me. Whack. Get it, do. Yep, 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 yep. He's yep, gonna yep. eat. <sighs> Drop it again. I don't want to hit him though. Follow down. Yeah, this is the yellow. All day. Turn up. I'm telling you, if you had a scrub worm and just flick that there, now. you're late. Yeah, this is yellow. Do it twice in. I'll try that vibe. Oh, he's on me now. Come on, stop toying with me. Sometimes take. Yep, got him. Fuck yeah. Yellow. You know the yellow. Yeah, that's a yellow. That's a big yellow too. Big captain, big yellow. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Dude, I'm telling you, it's a big yellow. He big. He's actually a big yellow. It's fucking nice. It could be a, it could be a crop. Oh, like yeah, bigger than the one marked last night, and that can't nearly it'd be 50 centimeters. I've got a heavy gauge stinger on here, so he's playing up. There he is down there. Let's go. There he is. There. I'm gonna look at him here. He's not bad. He's not that big as we thought, but he yellow. He he of yellow color on stinger. On the fucking thing. <coughs> He's a good eater. Yellow berry. <laughs> oh, on that bad yab. On that bad yabby. Fucking how's that? I'm gonna nip him on the fucking stinger. In the stinger. Yellow dude. <laughs> Get that hook out. Oh, just popped out. You can join your mate. You guys didn't see last night. This was uh, last night. Yellow. Um, oh, he's dead now, but. Oh, come here. That's, that's the big brown from last night. He'd be, he'd be high 50 centimeters. Dude, look at the teeth marks on his trout, eh? Look at that. He's been smacked by something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's keep going. Watch this unfold. Dude, he's like, come here on the right, come here on the right. Drop it below the transducer. We're gonna watch this unfold, here we go. That's a big yellow there. Jesse's lure's going down. He's going away. I'm gonna back us up a tad. Oh no, he's coming over, he's coming over. Slow roll, just slow roll. Don't do anything else, just slow roll. Just slow roll, keep going, keep going. Drop it back, yep. Tease him. Just to play with him a bit. Yep, slow roll, slow roll. Up, 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 slow roll. Slow roll, keep going, don't stop. 
do that. As soon as he turns on it like that, yeah. just yeah, start slow rolling. I'll back us up a bit more. He's, he's no, he loves it. He'll, he'll eat it. Where is he? That's your lure. Yeah. There he is again. He's on it. Once he starts following, slow roll. Slow roll. He's on it. He's on it. Slow roll. Yep, slow roll. Come on. Yep. I'll let him fall it down. Not slack yep. the drop. Slow roll. Whenever you feel the pluck. Yeah. Just keep slow rolling let the rod load up. Don't try and set the hook. Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He'll eat. He'll eat. Oh, come on. We'll catch this fish. That's a good fish. Come on. And people think this active target, it's guaranteed a fish. You can see this fish, it's on its nose, and he's just toying with it. He's a good yellow. You can see like the shape of it is a bit more rounder profile. Right, yeah. Come on. Put up drop. <laughs> Try to get it on his. I think there's a second one there on the bottom. See that one above that lay down? Yep, yep. Where is it now? Yeah, he's gone straight to him. Uh, he's pretty much behind us a bit though. Might want to jump on this. Looking, oh, he's looking. looking. We'll get this camp. Oh, he's back now. He's over here. <coughs> Come on. Turn the scope back around. Where is he? There he is. There's two there. Oh, look at him. Stacked on that root ball. Slow roll, slow roll, slow roll, slow roll. Yep. On. <laughs> See, all of a sudden, it's just like something's ticked in his head and gone, I'm eating that. Unreal. Not a bad fish. You bet. <coughs> must be a pocket of yellow, isn't it? Because there was actually more yeah. there. Jump around. There's, yeah, there was like another two, I think. Like I said, it wasn't, it's not a hard hit, you just, you just feel a little tart, yeah, a little oh. tart. <sighs> Looks like a nice fish. Playing up. Oh, yeah. oh good dude. Fish. Good fish. That's a cod, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a cod always coming up. <laughs> Jeez, he'd be fucking, oh. Good fish. On a stinger. Holy dude, that's fucking <laughs> a big yellow. That's yeah. big yellow anywhere. That's sick. <laughs> Literally just run it through. That's mint. <laughs> Alright, let's get this bad boy on the stinger. Oh, dude, he's fucking like. That's a solid yellow. He's like 6 plus pounds, 7 pounds. He's fucking solid. That stinger nailed him. Winter oh. fish are a bit fickle. They love that stinger. Might need some pliers. There we go. The truth is in the pudding. 50. 55 Ooh. Nearly 62 662 <laughs> How's that? How's that? It's a pan down him Big mouth on the side Show us the tail He big Solid mm, Let's get some pics and send her off She'd be a big to eat this one Oh yeah. 62 centimetres of eel and goldness. Let the big girl go. That cleans the water. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's get some more. <laughs> well, we just wrapped up the morning session. Seen an extra large cod. Didn't want to play the game. Couldn't get a proper proper cast at him. Just moving so fast, and um, 
but I must say he was like in a small area, like a 50 meter radius, did not leave it, but yeah, eventually just lost sight of it and yeah, kept moving on. Got the reddies, uh, yellows, got followed by a heap of trout, dropped a few trout because I wasn't running the stinger hooks. Kept filling them, nipped the back ends, but um, just pulling back up to camp now. Um, pulling up to camp now, get the swag all sorted, packed up. But um, I'm gonna troll my way, troll two Tazzies out back towards back towards the car. Fire sort of dying off now. Weather is absolutely amazing. It's actually due for one of these, to be honest. Ah, just beautiful. Pin drops on, another breath of wind. Gonna put this fire out too. And then uh, hit the road. Always put the fire out. Yeah, I'm just gonna take take what I need. I wanted to take home a feed of fish, so I'll definitely take home one of the yellows and trout. Um, and also something I wanna show you guys a bit of the bait that you do see in the lake. We were fortunate enough to catch one last night on one of the bait rods. Um, just let me show you this. This is one of the bait sources that the cod absolutely love here in the lake. It's called a roach. Have a good look at that. He's about seven inches long. Like a carp, red tail. Absolute cod candy. So I'm gonna let him go. Nice little fish, beautiful condition fish. Oh. Away you go, buddy. Off he goes. There somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Oh, what do you reckon was inside its gut? Nah, big, big uh, yabby. Yeah? Yeah. Big yab. Little fat. No wonder they can last the winter. Let me scrape that out. That's no good. Trout's super skinny. It is skinny. Oh, yeah. Really? It's like a fucking pickaxe handle. Hey. Eh? <laughs> Could have done a Greek festival. That nice fucking trout that came up as well today would have been nice. Yep. I'm not oh fuck. <laughs> Just that I have not caught a trout in so long. Trout's actually bigger than the yellow. Like actually they're almost like identical inside. It's on the way back to the ramp. Uh, it's getting to like that mid-morning, late morning period. Just chucking out at one, just a tazzy, just trying up through the guts here, just having a bit of a prospect, a bit of a chill out. And just see if I can maybe pick up another one for dinner. Another trout would be nice. But he dropped those few this morning, it would have been nice, even better. But, oh, well, shit happens. Um, nice relaxing for once to sit down and have a rod out, and not be up on my feet. 
looking at a screen all casting my ass off. So <sighs> I don't get to do this often just to chill out. It's actually pretty awesome. I'll we'll do this a bit more often I reckon. Especially like when you cast all day and you're chasing that fish, that trophy fish, you want to take a photo and let it go. So I didn't come home with fish muffin, so to be able to pick up the yellows and the scope and do that sort of stuff on the side of chasing those big fish and then on the way home just having a quick troll, giving a couple hundred meters or a K of troll and you might even end up picking up picking up dinner. See what happens. Beautiful day anyway. Absolute glamour, bluebird skies. All good. Got tucked away. Oh, looking good, clean, sexy, drying out. <sighs> I know it's been a little bit different to the way I normally end my videos, but I, I know a lot of people just say they want to see a little bit more raw footage. So I know this has been super raw, a bit of real cut, mix and match here, there, everywhere. But um, would have liked to have pulled a few more trout in the afternoon to cook up for you guys. But I did manage to snag a nice one at night which I didn't film at night just because purely it's it's pretty damn hard to film at night. Picked up a nice uh, some nice yellows at night. I don't know if that's been done. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have chased yellows or caught yellows at night. Um, there's something new to me I haven't tried to do and it looks like it could be something I will do. Completed the grand slam for Ilden. Um, the roach, carp, redfin, yellow belly, brown trout, Dear, didn't get a rainbow and we didn't get a cod, but that's all right. Almost ticked all the buckets, uh, the bucket list. But um, I think that could be a future video. Is pinning off every species, trying to tick off every species on the list. Could be a future video, but uh, nonetheless, signing up from here, taking the boat to the car wash, got all the mud off. She's clean, got her arrow out. Um, yeah, she's all real wet, soaking wet. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in for another episode. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for more up-and-coming videos. I will be filming every time I go out fishing. Though I've been a bit slack, it's been a month or two since my last upload, but and I have been fishing, but that's all going to change. Regardless of what happens, the camera's coming with me, um, and I'm just going to show everything that happens now. So thanks again, guys. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. Really appreciate it, guys. Whatever you want to see, whatever you want, things you want to learn, know, life side, active target, you want to see some more of that stuff, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. You're watching another episode of Vision of the Captain.